Uh, what a joy and pleasure it is to be here today for this really wonderful event. It's a great day. It's a great day for TAC, okay? It's a great day for UT, but even more than that, it's a great day for our nation. And I think even more than that, it's a great day for science. Uh, it truly is a great day. It's, it's a, a joy to be here and join the celebration with, uh, with all of you. You've heard uh, from other speakers, and it's clear. They've mentioned it, and it's, uh, it's clear. We wouldn't be here without a partnership. It's a partnership that requires an enlightened public vision. And Congressman McCall, uh, you represent that. Uh, this enlightened public vision uh, that was once uh, a private vision, as you said, with J.P. Morgan, now is a public vision, is critical to winning this race. Uh, as you stated, and you've been a leader in that, and I want to personally thank you uh, for that vision and for your support for this project. Uh, it's a public vision that's shared also by another great friend of this university, Senator K. Baylor Hutchison, uh, a great friend of science, a great friend of this public vision of what a partnership with uh, the government can do to advance science. I know that Senator Hutchison uh, very much wanted to be here today and we've conveyed our thanks and we'll continue to convey our thanks to her and to you, uh, Congressman, for the representation of this part of the partnership. Uh, it's a partnership that also uh, is significant because it involves the private sector. Sun Microsystems and Advanced Micro Devices and Hector and Jonathan, uh, we've heard from you, but you're part of that vision also and we want to thank you. Uh, partnering with you in this great project both has been a result that we have the project but it also shows the way where we can move forward in the future so uh, we share your vision we're proud to be partners with uh, Arizona State and Cornell and we'll convey that uh, partnership as well and then of course uh, the National Science Foundation this is the largest grant that the National Science Foundation has ever given to UT Austin uh, it also uh, was critical, of course, in having this project come to fruition, but it also reflects the vision that we've heard more about today of how to move computing and science forward. Dan, I want to thank you personally, uh, convey our thanks to the National Science Foundation, and especially for the confidence that you've shown in our great university. What we've heard here today uh, is truly inspirational. We always strive at UT uh, to be the best, to be number one at whatever we do. And at 504 trillion operations per second, Ranger is just that. It's the most powerful open science research computer in the world. And it's here on our campus, in Austin, in Texas, uh, and at UT. And it's available on our campus to support worldwide research and the worldwide scientific community. Now at UT, we often say, and I think rightly, what starts here changes the world. And that is certainly true in the case of Ranger. Leadership in science and engineering research has always required two things. It's required the brightest minds, the absolute best people, and it's required the best tools. And those tools have changed. Libraries, laboratories, instrumentation. Those are technologies that are still with us and resources and tools that are still with us. In the 21st century, the best tools means the best computing. And that, again, is what Ranger is, and we have it on our campus. And I want to give just a special focus to TAC. As Juan said, it's become the leading academic high-performance computing center in the world. We are very proud of it. Jay, we're very proud of what you've done. TAC enables groundbreaking research in its facilities, but it also facilitates groundbreaking research in other areas of our campus, and you've heard about them. Uh, the Institute for Com uh, Computational Engineering and Sciences, the Jackson School of Geosciences, 
the Department of Computer Sciences and the College of Natural Sciences. Uh, all of these work together with TAC and use TAC to do this phenomenal uh, research. It is transforming, has transformed, and is, and is transforming uh, our campus. And leadership is responsible for that. And Jay is that leadership. Jay, I'd just like to personally thank you on behalf of the university, what you have done to transform computing on this campus. And it'll have an effect in other ways. One effective ranger is we're able to recruit the very best scientists, both scientists in computing, but also scientists who will be using this wonderful facility. And you've heard many of them mentioned today, and more will come. And another effect is already being felt, as Jay said. There are proposals and grants that have already been funded, already started now, who are using ranger and that impact will simply grow, and as Jay said, more to come. So I want to thank everybody, from the public sector, from the private sector, people on this campus, people in the community, and many other supporters who are sitting in this audience uh, who have helped bring us to this point. I want to thank everybody who has made this possible. And Jay, just let me say again, this is a great day for TAC. It's a great day for you. It's a great day for UT, and it's a great day for science. Thank you.